All right, number nine, a city of New Zealand has fired its wizard. Oh, no. His name is oh, Ian no. Brackenbury Channel, and he's 88. What? For the past 23 years, the city of Christchurch had been paying him 16 grand a year tax-free to promote the place with his acts of wizardry and other wizard-like services. He came to New Zealand from the UK in the 70s and started acting like a wizard, complete with a black cape in the town square. Yeah. At first they tried to get rid of him, but then they gave up, just embraced him because people loved it. The Prime Minister even gave him the Queen's Service Medal for his contributions to the community. The City Council has decided it's time to move mm. on. Oh, boy. And they didn't renew his contract. He probably didn't help himself huh. in April when he was on TV and said, I never hit a woman. They bruise too easily. Oh, jeez. He also so said that women cause wars by shopping too well, much. Well, you've actually been saying that yeah. as well. Yeah. So far. <laughs> <laughs> the shopping, it's got to stop. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the yeah. guy just kept his mouth shut and does his magic right. spells. Yeah, and right. you're 88. Uh, comfortable you're, living. You're almost there. Yeah. Oh, bummer. Oh, well. Dropping anything, Dad? I got nothing. What do you need to buy? You got everything you need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I notice you don't drag your rear end to the mall, so you make your wife probably has to buy all of the stuff that you're enjoying wearing because you're surely not going to get it. So she's got to get your stuff too. Am I right? No. It doesn't change the fact that ladies be shopping. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the truth. I hate shopping. I only do it when I have to. Huh? But I, you know, it's a rash generalization, is all I'm saying. Sure. Am I lying? Oh, see. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Number eight. Although uh, I was shopping yesterday. <laughs> uh, there we go. It's orange, it's juice, but Sunny D is not orange juice. That's why it's called an orange flavored citrus punch. Not the most nutritious drink either, considering all the sugar. You don't have to tell me and Larry that, but beverage but scientists delicious. say yeah. it's no worse than any other sugary drink. Which reminds us. Do you remember those? Uh, yeah. <laughs> those drinks our parents. It felt like a dime. To yeah. Get one of them right. Oh my God! <laughs> it was put in our lunch. Yeah. Remember these in the uh, 70s, 80s? They don't do these anymore. I don't know. They had no labels. They were just blue, orange, purple, or right. green. <laughs> just drink. Just it purple drink. drink. Yeah. yeah. Right? Love the blue windshield fluid one. That yeah. Was <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Delicious. All right. Time for number seven. Uh, hey, can you guess which state has the most covered bridges? Ooh. I'm going to go with Vermont. It's Pennsylvania. Wow. Yeah, who knew? Makes, you blew me away. Oh. Big surprise. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. That's a huge yes. surprise. You know, at one time in this great country, Larry, there were 14,000 no covered kidding. bridges. Yeah, in the good old days. Yeah, now there's only like 900 left. And of those 900, about 200 of them are in the Keystone yeah. State. Right here in Illinois, we have nine authentic covered bridges. I'm in something called the Bridge Club. <laughs> <laughs> we don't play cards. We no, talk uh, serious yeah. business yeah. about covered bridges. Uh, you can check them out on my Flickr page, which yeah. I call Paul's Pastoral Pastimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was running for a president of the Covered Bridge Club. I didn't win because uh, my fellow members didn't like my plank. Uh, uh, <laughs> you've been trying to get the Well Street Bridge covered yeah, for, I have since I long, started here. Yeah, long time, no no luck. Why did they cover all the bridges? Why? Why? Rain out. But you're outside and you're before outside, you go on the yeah. bridge. Because it's whimsical shade. and it looks nice. Yeah. It does look nice. But you know what? Speaking of covered bridges, that oh movie boy. with Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep. Bridges based on Madison that, oh. Is that about covered bridges? It's, yeah, he, he's a photographer that's working oh, really? for National yeah. Geographic and I photographing a covered bridge. Well, Paul, you were saying the movie isn't as good as the book. The book, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the book really brought it to life more. I thought it filled in the painting and the pictures a little bit more. But this is 1974, probably. <laughs> Is that when that movie no, was? No, yeah, it was in the 2000s in the 90s. or no, 90s, in the 2000s. was it? No, I don't know. Maybe the 90s. It was later than you think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Terry actually answered our question about why the bridges are covered. Yeah. It's because it keeps the rain Bears? from rotting oh. the, 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 the oh, planks. Oh, look at that. Think about it, see? But then it's rotting the covered the wood, and that's going to fall that's on somebody's true too. head. That's yeah. just yeah. Yeah. No. That's why there's only 200 left. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad idea. All right, number six. Maybe you can't afford that look Kim Kardashian wore to the Met Gala. You know, she was all dressed in black. Oh, yeah. Uh, but here's your chance to be kind of like her. Design House Balenciaga just debuted this new travel pillow. 100% cotton chic black color built. Oh. 
with a built-in hood. That's a must-have right So there. you put that on on the plane and no yeah. one talks to you? Wow. And you just kind of sit there and that's kind of nice. $650. That's a steal. But you get a lot for your money, the chance to keep your anonymity because this won't draw any attention right. at all, no. and also the chance to know how the other half lives like Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me ask That's you a probably worth twice as worth as that. You get on a plane, you see somebody wearing that. Does your carry-on accidentally hit them in the skull? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're nay. Yay. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah it I goes don't... up a lot. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Number five, back during the Cold War, the late 50s and early 60s, the U.S. and Lockheed Martin were developing a very fast plane to keep pace with the Soviets, and one of the fastest planes was the A-12, and among the usual requirements for Air Force pilots who wanted to fly it was they had to be married. Why? Why? Well, it was a paranoid time, and the U.S. was very careful about the Soviets getting any of our secrets. The thought is that if a serviceman had a wife and family to come home to, mm. he would never defect ah. or give away American secrets. Yeah. Or he might be more willing yeah. to yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. defecting wow. on the marriage, right? Yeah. That's a uh. pretty bold generalization there. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. All right, number four, from the outside, it looks like a fairy tale. Doesn't it? Oh, it does. Look yeah. at that. Very It's tale. not. Right. Oh. It's oh, not boy. a fairy tale? No. The Harlow Burn House once belonged to movie star Jean Harlow. She lived here with her husband in the 1930s until one day he was found dead. Oh, too Police bad. ruled it a suicide, but lots of people thought Harlow murdered him, and mm. Hollywood Studios covered it up. That's because the house staff found his body before calling the police. They contacted executives at MGM. Oh, boy. The next person to live there was actress Sharon Tate, oh, who of course was murdered by members of the Manson family in 1969. That murder did not happen at the Harlow House, of course, but uh -huh. it caused many to speculate that the home was filled with dark energy. Oh, Jeez, that took a dark... What, because two? <laughs> I, I don't know, What's Larry. dark energy? I don't know. It's just, I don't... The opposite of light energy. Light energy, all right. I just, when, when the backstory on your house is kind of a, that's kind of, hey. it just would scare me a little I'll bit. I'll take I'm it for... Saying. 80% yep. off, yeah. I'll take it off your hands. Well, you are not afraid of anything. I don't no, know why. Well. You're strange. Boo. It was that one lady that did. <laughs> Nothing. <freak> out <laughs> Nothing. All right, time for number three. Let us take you now deep inside a mountain on a remote island halfway between mainland Norway and the North Pole. And there oh, lies yeah. the Global Seed Vault. It's a super sturdy storage facility built to withstand just about anything. That's because it houses the world's largest collection of crop diversity. Countries from all over the world store seeds for certain crops here. Crop varieties are hugely important for our food and the vault is the ultimate insurance policy for the world's food supply. Hmm. Interesting. Number two, from time to time, we'll take a real letter to an advice column and see if we can help. Oh, good. This one is from the website The Dip, and it's called Very Serious, an advice column by Kelly Conaboy. Right. I have a question that might make me a B. Please don't judge me. I'm of the age where my friends are starting to have babies. Now, whenever they ask me to hang out, they ask if I want to hang out with their baby. I like babies, but I don't want to hang out with their baby. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. want to go out and hang out with them. Yeah. Is there a way, a polite way, to tell them what do I do? Yeah, there's a polite way to tell them. Just say no. I don't like your kid. Yeah. I don't like any kids. I like you. Right. <laughs> and I'd, I'd like to spend precious time with just you and not that rotten Sometimes kid. Sometimes you just want to be out with just your, you know, friend. Right. I just yeah, like... but the problem is these people with their kids, they want to bring them everywhere. Yeah. It's like, they, you know, the, the kid, the kids, what? Six months, you can stay home alone for an hour. He won't know the difference. Nap it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, you got to find new friends. Fans is really room, yeah. what it comes down to. Because once you don't have kids and they have kids, forget it. There's no. You think there's no going past that? Well, there's no, the relationship will never be yeah, the they same. They moved They're into gonna, a different place. Right. You move in. Like I just moved into a new house, and now I'm. Let me tell you, I'm evaluating which of my friends right. I invite over. Yeah. I don't want their kids putting their hands on everything, right. spilling things on I'm my floor. I'm still waiting for an invite. Yeah. Larry, where are you on this? You've been strangely silent. I can go both ways on this. I don't think she's a great friend if she doesn't want to at least 
engage with you just because you have a kid and your well, kid. Well, there's a I'm sure she's she done that plenty. Time, it's yeah. just maybe every time right. you don't want to have a you know a kid yeah. outing. Yeah, but then maybe you just do it at nighttime after the kids are in bed. You say, let's go out for drinks, right. and they, you're not bringing a baby to that. There or maybe they are. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Well, a lot of layers to this. Yeah. 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 We to... Not enough information, really. I think yeah. we solved it yeah. enough. All right. <laughs> Number one, an oldie but a goodie from back in 2015. This is a promo done by the morning team for Fox 10 Arizona. AZ. Oh, oh, Lord. God, I remember this. Awful. Oh, no. I don't remember this. Oh, my God. You should do this. It's easy. If I ran over these guys in a crosswalk, there isn't a jury in America that would convict me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Wow. Now, who do you think's driving the bus on this? Ooh. There's always oh, one person whose idea it was. The who is blue. it? The girl in the blue, I think, to yeah. her. Right yes. And him. And him, yes. Yeah. 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 It's it's usually the best two dancers in the series. Drag their ass along on it. And like, get me out of the here. The one in the green, the really. You could tell oh, she was yeah. a holdout. Yeah. She was the one they had to convince. Well, she had some common sense. She knew. She said, I don't know about this. She said, everybody, well, Ron's doing it. If Ron's doing it. Well, you have to. If you're part of the team, you have to do no, it. If the, the consensus is <laughs> that it's the promo, what do yeah. you do? Meanwhile, City Hall's on fire, <laughs> and they have nobody to go cover it. AZ. Oh, God, that was insufferable. I cannot imagine. <laughs> Let me just say, we've done our fair share of big turds we here. Have. Also. Yeah, but nothing we have. Our right. worst not, is still. But we were 25 years old, and it was 1994. Right. Well, this was 2000. And I was in the fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I remember promo all of you guys the dancing, dancing in tuxedos right. or there something. Was, that was a spoof. Though. That was a spoof so, of it. it. Was it? Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> the intent it was supposed to be a smooth. lot of stink. <laughs> yeah, it, oh. it, it might not have been over the top enough. Well, maybe we'll but show But it was that supposed to be a spoof. It, people could decide. Yeah. 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 Well, All right. Turd. Nine at nine. Go nine at nine.